Warfield. I'll try to distract him. was a tank that fired on you and your friends. Yes, yes, a tank. It fired right at me. Was it a big tank? No, actually, it was rather a little tank. But there was a great big man riding it, and he fired his lasers at us. Was this before or after you fell down and bumped your head? Before. And what happened to this tank? I didn't hang around long enough to find out. authorities took down your story, James. I'm sure they'll give it every consideration. I'm not so certain, Coach. Well, that may be true, James. Lotta's father was a bit off the beam, spending his whole life searching for El Dorado, the lost city of gold. Isn't El Dorado supposed to be somewhere in Peru? Well, everyone knows El Dorado doesn't really exist. It's just a myth, a fable. There's no such place. I know it has something to do with Lotta's capture. But why Peru? And why Lotta? Lotta's father has been working in Peru on some secret project. But he's been missing for almost a month. And Lotta fears that something terrible has happened to him. I don't know. The authorities have tried every lead and don't have a single clue. Yes, but I don't think they believe our story. Or yours, James. Getting shipped to Peru inside a mini tank does seem an unlikely lead. Everything about the situation is unlikely. Mr. De Niro missing, now Lotta captured. What does it all mean? It means that we have an opportunity to see the Peru the tourists always miss. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Have a look at this, James. A little alteration, IQ? Yes, I've added a few features that you might find useful in a mountainous place like Peru. The studs around the casing are now pitons that can be fired into a rock wall. They're connected to thin, strong cords stored inside the watch. Useful if I want to hang out. <sighs> Please, James, these things could save your skin. Now, the camcorder has been changed to act as a gold detector with a range of 25 miles. These two batteries are small grenades, uh, which you can arm by pressing both ends together twice. What if I want to take pictures? Mm, no room for tape, I'm afraid. What is this? It's a homing device that you can track with your watch. It comes with all these attachments. Suction cup, hanger. Why so many attachments, in case some of them don't work? <gasps> what? Your inventions haven't always worked the way they were supposed to, you know. Well, sometimes you just have to know the right way to use them. What? Nothing to protect me from odd jobs flying hat? You mean the guy who captured Lotta? 
That was our job? If he's involved in this, that means... Goldfinger! What? The Prime Minister? Now? But security! Protocol! Oh, very well. you know my father would be out of his study at exactly the right moment? I had a little help from Phoebe. Phoebe? She called your father pretending to be from the Prime Minister's office. She probably has no idea we're on our way to Peru. She has homework to do. She'll thank us later for leaving her behind. Of course she will. Not much farther, according to the map. Oh, every muscle in my body is sore from riding this mule. Welcome to Puerto. The detective is indicating gold up in those mountains. I'll go see if it pans out. And Tracy and I will go see if we can find a nice hotel. We'll also ask around about Lotta and her father. And please take care of Money Penny. Money Penny? My mule. I wonder if there's a hotel with running water? Huh, we'll be lucky if we find a hotel at all in a town this small. <laughs> Someone needs to teach that lot a few manners. That's for certain. Look! Excuse me, senor, but that will be 14 centavos. This has gone on long enough. Tracy, wait. I believe you owe that gentleman 14 centavos. The money is of no consequence. The bananas are free. Take them. Take them. Maybe we should be going, Tracy? You are very foolish, senorita. These mountain men take what they want, and they never pay. Mountain men? See, si. they live in the mountains where they have a big cannon. Do you know anything about two people? Two people from the city who may have come here recently? A beautiful young woman and her father? No. No, I know nothing. Well, looks as if we found El Dorado, Tracy. Oh, I hope that James is having better luck than we are. I just hope he doesn't end up at the wrong end of that big cannon the merchant talked about. <laughs> Looks like I hit the jackpot! Odd job! This homing device will make a nice present. Bullseye! Now to pick up the signal. I'm on my way. IQ. They act like they know the danger's over for now. Maybe they know something about Lotta and her father. Do you think they really have a big cannon up in the mountains? There's only one way to find out. Let's follow them. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Uh, only one of IQ's grenades left. Better not waste it. I rushed right over here, sir. I knew you'd want to hear about this. Bond has taken your daughter to Peru. Peru? Whatever for? I heard they went to find the lost city of El Dorado, and we all know there's no such place. Noseworthy, I must insist that you return to the nurse's station for further examination. <laughs> Could you 
Could James be trapped in there? Not anymore. He escaped using one of my grenades. Here's the other one. Besides, James is not the burying kind. <laughs> Very funny, IQ. I tell you, Goldfinger, I don't know. <laughs> you are an enormous disappointment to me, Mr. De Niro. Ah, but I have someone here who may improve your memory. <coughs> Father! Lotta! Who are these men, Father? What do they want? <laughs> A very good question, my dear. Very good. Perhaps if your father heard my plan one more time, it would cause him to rethink his position. This is a model of the territory surrounding the peaceful little village of Puerto. As you can see, it is an area that is not well mapped. Why do you want my father? Somewhere out here is El Dorado, the legendary city of gold. El Dorado? The lost city? But it does not exist. It is a myth. <laughs> I do not believe so. Let us do a little experiment to see who is correct. If you hurt her, you'll be sorry. A channeled ultrasound generator. I use it to produce earthquakes that crack open mountains. Let's say one of them will be El Dorado. The question is, which one? Your father refuses to tell me, even after many of the toppled mountains fell on Puerto. <laughs> Perhaps his feelings for you, my dear, are stronger. Our job, turn on Earthcracker. At this low power, Earthcracker's beam causes minor irritation. But at higher powers, the ultrasound will first hard boil the young lady like an egg. And eventually, it will blow her apart. <laughs> Don't tell him anything, Father. Our job, turn up Earthcracker another notch. to you, Mr. De Niro, the golden city of El Dorado is all mine. And there's nothing you or anyone else can do to stop me from taking it. <laughs> I see we both use the same travel agent. <laughs> Fantastic! I'm... I'm sorry, Father. For what, Lotta? I never believed your stories of El Dorado. Under these circumstances, I wish I'd been wrong. What's this? <laughs> A spy? Who are you? Bond. James Bond. Junior. 
<laughs> yes, I see the family resemblance. Uh, not only physically, but in your talent for making trouble. So now that you've found El Dorado, Goldfinger, what do you plan to do with it? Give guided tours? <laughs> no, Master Bond. I intend to use this laser to melt everything you see into gold plates so they can be smuggled out of the country. This is not just gold. It is an archaeological find of enormous value. Gold is gold. The form is unimportant. But... I am afraid that any further discussion would be pointless. I'm afraid things are about to heat up. Over the years, I have found many uses for a laser such as this. For example, right now the laser beam is melting the statue. The molten liquid runs down this channel to the molds where the gold will harden into bricks. My army of men will then be able to transport the gold bricks to my headquarters. Soon you'll be sitting in a pool of liquid gold. <laughs> Regrettably, the melting point of gold is a little over 1,000 degrees centigrade. I bid you farewell. Goldfinger, wait! Not this time. Look! Ah, my soldiers! You've come at last! Oh, if we could just distract them, maybe James would have a chance to escape! My thoughts precisely. That pile of rocks looks promising. If we apply enough pressure here... Uh, it won't budge. Oh, if only I had a crowbar or some sort of lever. We have begun the extraction procedure. Soon, we will start reforming the gold. Perhaps if we create sonic vibrations of a certain pitch. Oh, don't you have some sort of gadget to move those rocks? I always give all my inventions to James. Do you think I just walk around with dynamite in my... It's the other grenade! The one James dropped! Head for cover! More intruders! Find them and bring them to me! Escape the inevitable. <laughs> Wait, where's young Bob? No! <laughs> job! Stop him! I've seen more complicated stereo systems. <laughs> Has anyone seen Goldfinger or Oddjob? They must have been trapped in the avalanche inside. Hmm. I 
wonder. Well, Lotto was correct after all. El Dorado is now lost for good. You're safe now, Father. That means more to me than all the gold in the world. Then perhaps you won't want this souvenir I picked up on the way out. You're the one who really saved the day, IQ. You deserve all the credit. Uh, I get the credit and you get the girl. I guess you still have that golden torch. Let's go, James. We have classes to attend back at Warfield. One gold touch, slightly tarnished. Yeah!